MQT. Now, what if you have a lot of things that you want to enter very quickly? Or even better, you want to connect your OneNote with Outlook. Let's give that a try. If I switch over to my Microsoft OneNote, I have this whole project with lots of steps. Now, at the moment, these eight steps don't have checkboxes next to them. And now they're selected, I'm going to touch the To Do tag, which puts the checkbox right next to it. Now, if all you want to do is keep your task list with your checkbox right here in OneNote, you're done. But if you want to have that complete integration with Microsoft Outlook, then you need to go ahead and click the next button. You click where it says Outlook Tasks, and you decide where you want it to be. Well, maybe this assignment is due next week. So I'm going to touch that one, and they now have little flags next to all of them, just like that. If I switch back to Outlook, notice that on next week, now I have all those tasks I just pulled over from my OneNote. Now, again, if you want to assign them to a certain day, you could say, hey, you know what? Maybe my share, my learning object is due by Wednesday. I can press and hold my finger and drag it to Wednesday. Now, if I go ahead and touch that calendar event, all the detail I need is right there. Now, what happens if you decide you finish that step? Well, then you have to check it off somewhere, right? Since I spend most of my time in my notebook, maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I did. I picked my standard and I picked my topic. Let's go and see what that did in Outlook. Over here in the Outlook view, especially if I go to Tasks, so you can see them better, Pick My Standard has not been checked off yet. Hmm, I must not have touched the right thing. What happens if I touch the flag? If I touch the flag here in Outlook, it disappears. If I go back to OneNote and do the same thing and touch the little flag, notice that I touched the flag in Outlook on the other one, which gave me the green checkbox, and this one I touched it here, which again gives me the green checkbox. The green checkbox is what's showing you that you're talking from between the two programs. The point is, you can quickly generate lists to keep yourself organized with Outlook and with OneNote, and they can talk to each other. Thanks for watching. Manteca Quick Tip.